So this video is covering how to import a application in Android Studio after we have gone ahead and set it up. So at this point your command line environment, whether it be on Windows or on a Unix-based system, you should be able to go in the system and type Java, Java C, Cordova, and Ant. And as long as you can and you get a response that, that isn't that is anything other than saying it can't recognize it, you are good to go. And so I'm going to go ahead and clear. And I'm going to create a new project on my desktop right there. This is the Cordova Create script. I'm going to create one called Example on my desktop. All right. So here it is. And now that gives me the bare bones. And now I need to create a, uh, I need to make an Android project. So I'm going to go ahead and CD into it. Um, and there, I'm into the project now. I'm in the project folder. And I'm going to go ahead and I am going to add the platform, the Android platform to it. And so you can see it went in there and it created it added the Android items to my project. And now I'm going to go ahead and at this point, if you're adding some uh, plugins for things like uh, the notifications or the uh, gyroscope or whatever it is that you were going to go after, this is where you would do it. But I'm going to skip that step here uh, and we're just going to go on and I'm going to now prepare the Android app, and then I'm going to build the Android app. It'll take a minute to build, and it should build successfully, and once it's built successfully, uh, you have everything you need to go ahead and import it into Android Studio. Android Studio used to require a lot more steps uh, to get it installed. It seems like they have done a, a much better job um, with the latest version of Android Studio to get it going. So we're done with the terminal. We don't need our terminal anymore. I'm going to go ahead and start up Android Studio. Take just a second. So if you've just installed Android Studio at this point, um, there may be some things you need to add or you may to do may need to do you can go to your configure and SDK manager um, I don't like this SDK manager very much uh, it, it doesn't give you a good idea of what's installed what's not as much as if you go to your launch uh, standalone SDK manager you go here and this will bring up a much more intuitive interface here it says what's installed what's not installed you can see you know what I have installed all the way down here I've got the uh, the Intel emulator, which is going to be the uh, emulator that we use to test our program on. Um, I've got all the different parts that I need, and if, if you need anything updated or installed, it'll tell you. We need to make sure we have 22 uh, for Cordova. I'm pretty sure you need to have the, the 22 right here, Android 22 API installed at the very, beta, at the very least. Uh, you can also install the more recent ones. As I, you can see, I've got most of them installed. You don't have to install everything. You don't have to do the the API, the uh, some of the other stuff. But the main parts need to be installed. If you have any problems, you can always come back here and install whatever needs to be installed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that and show you that's how you do it. I'm going to cancel this one as well. If I had updated anything, that we'd be good to go. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to import. So I'm going to import a project. And so all I have to do now is go in here and I go to my desktop. See, I'm, that's where my project is. It's in my folder on my uh, desktop right here. And I'm going to go to example. And inside example, there's platforms. And here's Android in, inside of the platforms. I'm going to hit OK. It should just take it a second. It's over here. Let's see, building it and put it together and there's my program ready to go everything looks good and now um, I can look at my project if I want you can look at your uh, captures 
project. And uh, in my project, we've got Android, you got Cordova libraries, you want to leave those alone. You got your, here we've got our um, Android assets, www, and here's the index file. We don't really need to do anything now, but this is where you'll be doing all your work. And so we're just not even going to bother looking at it. We're going to go ahead and do a build, make our project. And so then we can go ahead and run, and it should ask us what to, to develop on. If you have a running device hooked up, you'll be able to choose it here. If you don't, you can use your emulator, and we're just going to go ahead and use the emulator here so you can see it. And so it is currently starting up my emulator. Luckily, I have a really fast computer. Most of you, it's going to take a while. Um, and here's the, the emulator. And so it'll just take it a minute to, to get started. And you can see in the background, it actually, even when you're connected to the, to the Android device, it's going to give you all the debugging information right here as to what's going on in the, as this is starting up. And you can see all these things are going on um, on the emulator right now or on your device as it is starting up the app that we created called Example, which is just going to have the default blinking uh, Cordova um, item in it. So I hit the thing and you can see this is blinking. That means everything's working. We're good to go. Everything worked. And any edits that you make now are going to change what happens every time you hit this and it'll change what's in the going on in the app. And, uh, and if I could see it, which you know, the emulator is not real good about letting me get to what I want, but uh, the different size. But you can see right here that on this emulator, there's my example app already installed. And if I want to test it again, I can just bring it up. And that's it. So that should be all you need to do to, uh, to import your projects into Android Studio. You can also kill everything from right here, and that'll kill your app as well from that from the studio, and then you can quit your emulator.